Hello and welcome. I'm just on the side of a street. I just wanted to show you guys yucca. So this over here is a desert type plant. It's native to hotter parts of North America. It's native to Arizona, California, uh, Nevada, uh, the Mexican states of Chihuahua, Sonora, as well as uh, Baja, the Baja Peninsula, along uh, the Sea of Cortez. So this over here is an extremely succulent plant. I think when we think of the genus Yucca, a lot of people think of Yucca brevifolia or the Joshua tree. And that's actually quite similarly um, developing and characteristically anatomically similar to this plant here. So this is a long-lived perennial plant. It likes exceptional beautiful drainage. Uh, it likes really hot summers, temperatures of up to even 40, 45 degrees Celsius. And it's quite color or, um, tolerant to cold in the winter as well. So this plant here actually has edible flowers. Some of them smell almost like coconut. Oops. Uh, the flowers themselves are quite fleshy. Uh, if you're ever like foraging outside, you can eat the roots, you can also eat the flowers and all parts of this plant, quite frankly. It has this really interesting five stamened, one pistiled individual, uh, singly born flower. It's a unisexual flower and you can actually stew these, you can add them into eggs for protein. Uh, they're quite nutritious for you, they have a lot of vitamin C and a lot of amino acids and just all sorts of protein chalked into them, so I'll just show you guys quickly. So these plants here bloom in midsummer, so uh, July, August, where I live. In some places they'll bloom a little bit earlier, in some places they bloom a little bit later, depending on when the most intense uh, heat is within your climate. Sorry, I'm like right next to a street, so if you guys can hear lots of cars, that's why. So these plants here bloom for about two, three weeks. Sometimes you'll get individual rosettes and just extra rosettes of flowers later on into the season. I believe this plant's also known as Adam's Needle. It's also um, the variegated variety is also known as the Spear of New Zealand. And they're just all equally beautiful. You can divide these once every three to five years just to rejuvenate the clumps. Uh, they produce these tiny little pups, these little offsets in the middle of summer. I recommend mulching them a little bit in their first couple of seasons with a little bit of straw or something really airy and fibrous just to kind of give them a little bit of winter protection their first couple of years. And if you really want to encourage more blooms and seeding, I highly recommend getting rid of the more older spent blooms at the bottom and you should see more uh, spikes of new blooms at the top. So this plant here has a really interesting fleshy root. I'm not going to show it because this is quite an old plant that I have right here and I just don't want to stress it out. But it's a fleshy rhizomatous root uh, that has almost like a little tap root at the middle and that part is all completely edible. But I will say that I use this as an ornamental plant with the exception of eating the flowers. Just because they're quite uh, slow to grow and they take a long time to sort of pick up. Now if I were to divide an individual pup, I wouldn't expect flowers for at least the first three years or so. I don't know if you can see the anatomy of this plant. Hi. It's just neighbors walking by. I don't know if you can see the anatomy of this plant. It takes a lot of effort for each individual rosette to produce blooms. Rosettes will produce about three, four seasons worth of blooms before individual or before later on eventually sort of succumbing to maturity and giving way for the younger pups. So if you see, it's not like a century plant or anything like that where it just like blooms and it's done, like it blooms for several years. So if you see an individual um, rosette bloom once, do not cut it away, don't try to kill it off. It has enough juice in it to bloom for a few more seasons. So that there is my introduction to yucca. This is just yucca species, yucca americana. I think it's synonymous with a few other things, but it's all in the genus yucca. Extremely heat tolerant plant, wonderful drainage lover, not a heavy feeder at all. I don't even think you really need to water it at all, like just let it be once it's established. They can go well over a month without water even in the summer months. And yeah, so individual bloom stalks are usually about five and a half feet tall. Sometimes a little taller, sometimes a little shorter, depending on site conditions. And yeah, uh, they produce an individual stalk for each rosette. And sometimes these can really beef up and even be approximately 10 feet tall. So that's just my introduction to yucca, and I hope you have a great day.